Hi everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I realized uh, going back through some of my old videos about breaking up text and working with text in Microsoft Excel uh, that I skipped over some things and I assumed some uh, skill sets. So now I got an email asking me to break up some addresses and the addresses that I've got in this column here map to what uh, she was asking me to do with her addresses. So as you can see here, we have the street name, then a comma, then the name of the city, then a space, the name of the state, space, zip code. And she wants to break this up into street, city, state, and zip into each individual column. And she was asking whether there were tools to make that as easy as possible. Now, the problem here, of course, is that this does not follow a very nice pattern. For example, it would be great if uh, there were commas between the street and the city and the city and the state and the state and the zip, but there's only one comma in here. So I can't use commas to tell it how to break this information up, but if I look at this really hard, I can figure out some things that I can do with this. So to begin with, I'm going to do the easiest part first, which is, okay, I know that there is a hard comma between the name of the street and the name of the city. So I click on cell A4, the first address, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, control shift down arrow to highlight all the addresses. Then from here, I go to the data tab at the top of the screen and use text to columns. Text to columns is a physical breaking process for these addresses, as opposed to a function that tries to figure out what to do. So I go to text to columns and it asks me whether this content has a delimiter or whether there are fixed widths here. And of course, these addresses are all over the map in terms of their length. I cannot use fixed width. Instead, I'm using the common delimiter of the comma. I choose delimited and I click next and I tell it that the comma is the delimiter. Now the problem here is that, of course, the comma is not the only delimiter between the street name and the city name. It's the comma and then a space afterward, but I cannot use the space as the delimiter because, well, that breaks everything. So I have to use the comma and I have to suck it up about the extra space before Baltimore, before Rochester, before Lexington. So I then click finish and it's at least got the street address part done correctly. So I'll make this column over here the street address and let's talk about the rest of this. Now the first problem that we're facing is that there's a little pad in front of Baltimore and Rochester and Lexington. So let's go ahead and take care of that with the trim function. Over here in cell C4, I'm going to use the formulas tab, the text drop-down menu, and grab trim. And all trim does is take off extra spaces, whether it's before the, before the words, after the words, or more than a single space between words. So click on trim, feed it the Baltimore, Maryland address here, and click OK. And you can see very clearly that Baltimore here is hard left aligned, whereas Baltimore here has that little pad on it. Then I can click on cell C4, put my mouse in the bottom right hand corner to get the black plus sign of the autofill handle. And because this is contiguous to the data immediately to the left, all I have to do is double click and it will autofill the remainder of that column. Now I like the contents that's on the right and I don't like the content that's on the left. So what I want to do is take the C column and turn it from a function into the actual content. So again, I click on cell C4 and I use the keyboard shortcut control shift down arrow to highlight every single city state zip combo. And from here, on the Home tab, I'm going to use a technique called Paste Values. Uh, the button way of doing this is to click on the Copy button here on the Home tab. And then on the drop-down menu that's connected to Paste, we see that one of the Paste options down here is just the Paste, the value of what the function's giving us and not the function itself. So this will be the actual content and not a function trying to give you something. 
I choose paste values from this little drop down menu and now everything that's in the C column actually says Rochester, New York instead of being a calculation to get you Rochester, New York. And if I look over here at the old Rochester, New York, it doesn't have the extra padding that this B column does. So now I can easily right click on the B column and delete that to get rid of that content. Now this next part is it's tempting to say that it's uh, that it's spaces, right? But I get down here and I realize that one of the cities is San Diego, California, and I realize, ooh, I can't use spaces here, right? If I have two word city names, then spaces are going to mess up when I tell it to break on those spaces. So instead, what am I going to do? Well, over here in the C column, I can actually figure out a way to get Baltimore and Rochester and San Diego and all the rest. I can start from the far left side of the text using the left function, and I can say, while I might not know how big Baltimore or Lexington or Jonesboro's word is, what I can tell you is that every one of these addresses has a five character zip code and a two character state separated by commas. So that's five characters, six characters, seven, eight, nine characters. That's right here at the end that I don't want. So I use the left function. On cell C4, I can use my formulas tab, go to the text drop down menu, and this time grab the left function. The text I want to get is somewhere in cell B4, and it starts from the left, and it goes in a certain number of characters. Now, how many characters? Here's where I'm going to use the len function, L-E-N, L-E-N open parentheses. Len is short for length, and it tells me how long, how many characters are in cell B4, and then I can close the parentheses there. Now that tells me there are 18 characters in the cell that says Baltimore, Maryland 20239, and it gives me the entirety of the address, Baltimore, Maryland 20239. But if I remember that the last nine characters of this content are completely inconsequential to me in this situation, I can just do a little minus nine and get Baltimore. And then when I hit OK, I can again put my mouse in the bottom right hand corner of this cell, double click, and get all the rest of those cities, including cities like San Diego that have two words to them. Remember, click on the first one. Control shift down arrow to select all of them. On the home tab, you can copy or you can use control C on your keyboard. And on the paste drop down menu, paste values. Or for those of you who like keyboard shortcuts, alt ESV also gets you paste values. All right, so now we have a full column full of Baltimore and Lexington and Columbus and San Diego. And the remainder of this is actually very easy to get because I can guarantee that the last five characters are a zip code and these middle two characters are the state. So I go in here to the D column. I start with the formulas tab. I start with the text function called mid. And the mid function says I can jump into the middle of Baltimore, Maryland 20239 to the starting number of what? Well, again, if we take the full length of the text that's in cell B4, that'll give us 18 characters. So I want to jump past the first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can see here, it's the last five characters, six characters, seven or eight characters. So I want to jump all the way over to spot number 10. So that's minus 7, I believe. And the number of characters I want is 2. There you go. So take the full length, subtract the last 7 characters, and the number of characters I want to get is the last two, dig two characters right here for Maryland. I can hit OK, auto fill down, and there's every single state. Again, home tab, copy, paste, values. And finally, to get the last five characters is incredibly easy because there's a function called write. I go over here to the E column. I go to the formulas tab. 
use the text drop down menu and I grab the write function. I then tell it that I want to get this information in cell B4 and I want to get the last five characters. I click OK and it gets me the last five characters of every single one of those. Again, copy, paste, values, and there it is. Notice that it does tell me at this point, you see the little green corners here? It's telling me that these are a bunch of numbers, but they're stored as text information. Now, if you do convert them to numbers, beware, you see that right here, 7543-3060. If any of the addresses have five character zip codes that start with a zero, you're going to see that that zero drops off. So if you do convert them all to numbers, here's what you need to do. Control shift down arrow to highlight all the zip codes. Then go to the number group up here at the top of the screen, click the little pop out button in the corner and tell it that you're going to use a special type of formatting, zip code formatting, which always has five digits. Click OK. And there you go. Every one of these, including ones that start with a zero, have five digits to them. And once again, I can right click on the B column, delete those contents, and now I've broken out each of the individual elements into its own column. So there we use text to columns, the left function, the mid function, the right function, and the len function, each to be able to break out a different part of a accumulated address.